This screencast is about one of the leading open source content management systems called Plon. This is the default page of a newly created Plon 3 site. It has Plon logo type displayed on the top left area, followed by the portal navigation tabs. There are several site actions on the top right area, search box and a personal bar, which now includes login link. Let's log in to the website with our login name and password. And now we have a green frame appeared around the content area that includes some tabs and drop-down menus that help to manage site content. Here we can change elements display view, add new elements and change their state. Site setup link that appeared after we logged in leads to the site configuration area where main configuration options for Plon site can be set up. Plon allows easy uploading of the content. There are several default content types that can be added to Plon. Let's for example create a new site subsection. For this select folder from add new drop down menu. Let's title it photos and this will be later a photo album on our site. On the edit form of any Plon content type there are several tabs where you can specify item text, select its language, set publication and expiration date, specify ownership, enable commenting and some more options. After we are done with the element data we can save the folder and publish it to make it visible to other site members. Now we can add photos inside, select image from the add new drop down menu, give it a title and select photo from your computer to upload. Do this for all photos you want to add to this folder. And now when we have several images in our folder, we can change its view to make it look like a photo album. For this select thumbnail view from display drop down menu. To create a simple text document, select page from add new drop down menu. Plon 3 has default Westwick editor called Kupu that allows easy content updating. To make a piece of text bold or italic, select it and press on the corresponding button on the Kupu toolbar. You can change text style by selecting one from the stars drop down menu. To insert a link to any other side element, select a piece of text and use insert internal link button to search for the necessary object to link to. With Kupu, inserting tables, images, links, enters is very simple. For example, to insert image to our page, click on the Insert Image button on the Kupu toolbar and in the opened window browse uh, your site for the necessary image. Um, here you can specify its alignment, um, select the size of the image you need it will automatically be scaled according to the selected size. If the image captioning was enabled, you can enable it for this picture. Um, also, Kupu allows making ordered, unordered, listing and definition list. After we are done with um, content editing, let's exit full screen mode and save our document. Let's consider adding files to your Plon site. From Add New drop down menu, select File, provide its title description, and press Browse button to search for the file on the computer to upload. Save the file. Plon auto detects this as a PDF file and gives the corresponding file icon and displays file size. If we now add other file types, such as Excel spreadsheet and Word document, they will automatically get different file icons. You can change the display view for your files in the folder. Go to Display drop down menu and select Tabular view. Then the files will be presented in a nice table showing their type, author, and modification date. Content management on a Plon site is very easy. We have some folders in the root of the site which are displayed in the navigation portlet. Each folder contains number of different pages, images, news items, files and other subfolders. To manage site content, go to the Contents tab and you will see all the elements of the current folder listed in a table. You can select some of them and use copy-paste or cut-paste buttons to move or copy content from one site section to another. On the folder contents view, you can also change elements, titles and short names using rename button. Several elements here can be edited at once. In the same way, you can easily remove objects from your website using the delete button. It is also possible to change the status of several items at one using change state button.
One more option available here is the possibility to change the item's order simply by dragging the necessary object into the desirable place. Now, uh, when we reload the page, About Us folder will be listed on top of the navigation portlet. One of the greatest features of Plon is its leaf search. It is very simple to find content within Plon site. As you type letters for search into a search box, all possible matches appear below the search box. You can move up and down within search results with the help of arrows up and down, and um, you actually move between different site pages without really loading them. If you now click on the matching document, you will land on the page you were looking for. So instead of entering a whole search term waiting for the results, this leaf feedback on searching makes finding things faster and more effective. You may use advanced search if you're looking for something specific. It allows to search for the text within contents, titles, descriptions or keywords. You can search by the time when the content was modified or limit search results to just certain types of content. Here you can also search by the item's author or by its review status. You can also subscribe to the feed of these results to be informed about the new items that appear within this search query. Plone has rich features of content history and versions. It is possible to trace who has been working on a document, what changes were made by what site member. It also allows to revert to any document's earlier versions. Open the history menu below the document to see the full list of documents' revisions with their authors and modification date. You can view any of the previous revisions, compare them with the current one, and revert to any of the earlier revisions. Before we make any changes, let's look at one of the past revisions. Uh, let's compare it with the current one to see what changes were made in the text, what was added, what was deleted. And um, let's see the changes in the code. And now we can revert to the previous revision. One of the greatest spawn features is its portlets. These are boxes that appear on the left and on the right side of the content area. To manage portlets in Plon 3, click on Manage Portlet Links at the bottom of the right or left column. And this will take you to Manage Portlet screen, where you can add and remove portlets or change their order. There are several types of portlets that come with Plon. These are News, Events, Calendar, Login and many other. In this example, I am adding static text portlets to the left column, fill it with the text, the image, add information about portlet footer, um, add in link it will be linked to. And um, now this portlet will be displayed in the left portlet column. Even though navigation portlet is also assigned here, its configuration should be changed to make it appear in the side route. Yeah, here it is. You can rearrange the display order of portlets by clicking the up and down arrows. One more plan feature is its workflow component that allows to control what people have access to what content. In default plan workflow, newly created document starts out in a private state, which means it is not visible to any site visitors by the document author. The owner of the document submits it for publication, changing the state to pending review. When the reviewer logs in, all the documents that depend on review appears on his review list. The reviewer can either send them back to the document author for future writing, which moves it back to the private state, or publish the document to make it visible to all site visitors. Since different sites require different types of workflow and access, Plon allows easy workflow modification and customization. Plon has several workflows added in default Plon types configuration. But Plon workflow, you can define review process for content objects, giving various groups of users different level of access.